Uh, now, getting that sort of power to the ground in any chassis is going to be challenging. Uh, you've got a fairly unique solution to improving the traction there. You've actually converted it to four-wheel drive, so I'm not too sure there's uh, many S13s that are four-wheel drive. Uh, tell us what you've done there. As far as I know, it's the only one in the world because it was quite a quite an undertaking. Uh, basically, what was happening when it was rear-wheel drive, we were going good at the track. It just, because of the streetcar became sort of bigger, the bigger in turbo size we went, the, the less usable the power was. So we went, uh, yeah, we basically grafted a, uh, a GDR uh, sump, uh, modified that with, a, with a, obviously the diff housing that comes with it, um, and made a bit of an adapter plate to, to fit onto the SR. Yeah. So for those who aren't aware with the, the uh, R32, 33 and 34, the, the GDR engine, the RB26 has uh, a sump with an integrated front differential, so that's what you're talking about, you've essentially cut and shut the GDR sump and converted that to fit to the SR20? That's correct, and then we used the front subframe from the GDR, um, the GDR shaft, so we did a bit of trickery with the suspension uh, and making it all adapt and um, yeah, it works really nicely. Uh, how has that uh, sort of changed the, the car's power delivery capability compared to uh, when you were running? I believe you ran that 854 that we mentioned earlier uh, when it was rear wheel drive with an H pad and box. Uh, so how, how much has it changed the, the car's capability now being four wheel drive? It's, it feels similar to being at the drag strip but on, on, you know, on a street surface now you can really lay down the power and just let, let it feed it in and it, and it just hooks. Yeah. Uh, what would you think it would do now if you went back to the drag strip again? Look, um, I don't think it would really go too much faster. If uh, It is making more power, but it also is a heavier vehicle now. It's, it's put on about another 100 kilos, so that's going to come at a, kind of a cost down the strip. Yeah. Uh, talking about the rest of that four-wheel drive drivetrain, uh, you've, you've got uh, a gearbox behind it that obviously needs to send drive forward to that GDR diff. How are you doing that? OS Geek in 88, sequential six-speed, and then we're using the Atessa system out of the GDR as well, and we're using an aftermarket uh, controller for the Atessa. It's an ETS Pro. Okay. Yeah. So you've essentially got a full GDR running gear in there, just uh, fronted with the SR20. Yeah, that's right. If you like that video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and if you're not already a subscriber, make sure you're subscribed. We release a new video every week. And if you like free stuff, we've got a great deal for you. Click the link in the description to claim your free spot to our next live lesson. You'll learn about performance engine building and EFI tuning, and you'll also have the chance to ask questions which I'll be answering live. Remember, it's 100% free, so follow the link to claim your spot.